Homemakers, I am back today with another budget-friendly dessert. Today we are going to be making a no-bake Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Fudge. Yes, you heard me, and yes, it is budget-friendly. So first, before I get started, let me let you know what I've got going on here. So I have an 8x8 glass pan that I have lined with parchment paper, one sheet of parchment paper. I've got my can opener, my scissors, a spoon, and a knife. I have a four cup glass measuring cup bowl. I have one can of sweetened condensed milk, one bag, which is 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I actually have four packs of Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm not sure how many we're going to use, but however many we use will determine the cost of the recipe. Now, let's just say, for example, we use all four, because if you're like me and you absolutely love Reese's peanut butter cups, why not? Um, then our recipe is, let's see, these were $3 at Lidl, $2 at Lidl, and I got the Reese's peanut butter cup packages from Dollar Tree. So we've got two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let just under $10 for the entire recipe, which will serve quite a few people because it is a rich fudge. Okay, so before we get started mixing our ingredients and getting things going, I am going to unwrap and cut up my Reese's peanut butter cups. And I do have a plastic bag sitting right here for all of my trash because nothing bothers me more than a cluttered kitchen or a cluttered work environment. So here we go. And like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and use all four packs of the Reese's. Um, you know what else they have at Dollar Tree? They also have um, the larger packs of Reese's. So I couldn't find those this time, probably because it's Halloween. Um, but if you can find them, uh, I believe they have either four or five Reese's peanut butter cups in one package. So if you can get one package of that, that'll save you like $3 on this recipe. So instead of it being just under 10, it'll be probably just under eight. So there you have it. You just have to find the deals. You have to seek out the sales. All right, one more package, and then we're just gonna cut them up into pieces. Nothing too crazy. This is actually a fun recipe to make in the kitchen with your kids. It's a great way to get them learning how to bake. All righty, and this is also, since we're now in the Burr months, we just um, entered into October, um, it's also a great recipe to make for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Do you like to make cookie platters for the holidays? You can make this fudge and add it to your cookie platters. Fantastic. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting each cup into three strips and then I'm cutting it three times across so that I get these little, these little like bite-sized pieces. I guess it depends on how big your mouth is. If you have a big mouth like me, one may not be quite bite-sized. And I bet you, if you ask my husband, he'll agree that I have a big mouth. <laughs> I've always got something to say. All right, so really they cut, they qu cut quickly and easily and I can go a little bit faster for you. Now I've seen some people make this not this exact recipe, because I've been doing this for years, but make a similar type of fudge recipe, but they actually take the Reese's peanut butter cups and line them in the bottom of the pan, and then they have most of their Reese's peanut butter cup on the bottom of the fudge. Mm -mm. I prefer it this way. I prefer to add my Reese's peanut butter cups on top of the fudge, and then I just press them in. All right, see, that was quick. We just were chatting for a few minutes, quick and easy. So I'm gonna open up my bag of chips and I'm gonna pour them right into 
the measuring cup. Then I've got my can opener. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna pour the sweetened condensed milk, all of it, into or onto the chocolate chips. Gosh, please be careful with this because I can't tell you how many times I have cut my hand on a, an open can. Recently, actually, I just recently did it too. So I'm really, really super careful. All right, so I always say Deanna doesn't waste. So I am actually scraping out every bit of sweetened condensed milk from this can. Like it shouldn't have any milk left in it. Let's see if I can show you. Ta-da! Empty can. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this here for now. I'm gonna carefully close that, put it in my bag. Now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute and I'm gonna share with you a little trick about chocolate chips. Let me get it going. So I'm going to stir it after one minute. And um, a little trick though, like I said about chocolate chips is they keep their shape even when they're melted. So you always have to stir your chocolate chips when you're using the micro, if you're using a double boiler, whatever your technique is. And you could definitely do this on the stovetop in a double boiler if you wanted to. Um, but this is just quick and easy. Um, but that's the trick. You have to stir the chocolate chips or you'll burn them because they'll look like they're not melting. Now white chocolate chips are a whole nother ball game. Um, I, I love the way white chocolate tastes, but I don't like to bake with it because it's difficult. All right, we have a few more seconds and then I'll actually bring it over here, give it a stir so you can see. And we're, we're gonna have to put it back in. I've made this recipe long enough to know it's gonna have to go back in. Okay, so this is what we have. And so I am just going to mix it all together and it is starting to melt. You can see that. But there's some chips in here that really, that still have their shape. So I'm gonna pop it in for like another 30 seconds and then we'll check it out because I'd rather put it in a couple of times than to put it in too long and burn it and waste my money. You know what I mean? We're popping that in for 30 more seconds. So once it's melted, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the fudge into this prepared pan. Then we're gonna take the Reese's. I am so tempted to eat one right now, but I won't. And we're going to put them on top and then press them in. We should play the Jeopardy song <laughs> while we wait. Not too much longer. Let's give it another stir. I'm making a little mess here. Okay. I don't know, this, this, might, this might have done the trick. My microwave is working super fast today. So you wanna make sure that you scoop from the bottom up and around, almost like you're folding. Uh, just to make sure that you get all the chocolate and all of the sweetened condensed milk from the bottom and everything is mixed together. That looks really good. That looks really good. It's mixed together well. So let's clean off the spoon and I'm actually going to use the spatula to put this into the pan because I like to get every bit if possible, okay? Here we go, do it right here for you. We're just gonna scoop this right on in, all right? You wanna get every morsel and every bit from the bowl because you're not gonna wanna waste this. I can tell you that. Okay. Look, that is so clean. Look at that. <laughs> That's what you want. 
because this is budget baking after all. We don't want to waste anything, right? Okay, so I'm just going to press it out to the sides of the pan. Okay, to all four sides, make it as flat as possible. Let me grab a little paper towel and I chop it on my hands. And then we're going to give it a little shake. Obviously, we don't want to bang it because it's a glass pan. You could do it on your hand like this. Um, or you could just shake it because you just want to get a little flat. So this is beautiful. It's nice and flat. So now I'm going to take my Reese's peanut butter cups and I'm going to sprinkle them over the top. I don't know why I did that. I can still see it. Okay. I like to kind of sprinkle them one or two at a time just because I don't want it to be like all clumped up in one spot. And yes, it may take a little bit longer, but that's okay because you do want it to look nice too. Because I promise you, it's going to taste amazing. Everybody loves Reese's sponge. Well, I mean, not everybody, but the majority of people do. All right? So you just want to make sure the top is completely covered. And it is. We really don't want to leave too many like open spaces. You can see that. Yep. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to gently press the Reese's on top. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to pop it in the fridge for as long as it takes for it to set. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to check it after about 30 minutes and see where it is. And it might be done after 30 minutes. And if not, I'll put it back in for another 30 minutes. But I would imagine after an hour, it's going to be set. And once it's set, we're going to come back. I'm going to cut it so that you could see it. And then that's it. <laughs> see you shortly. Well, we are back to taste test our Reese's fudge. Everyone, this is my daughter, Felice, and she's gonna be my taste tester today. And if I'm being completely honest with you, the fudge isn't even completely set, but she's been looking at it in the fridge, I've been seeing it in the fridge, my husband's been seeing it in the fridge, and we really just wanna taste it. So here we are. Here is the finished Reese's fudge. Now it is set a little bit, but not enough to cut through it with a knife. However, I will tell you that once it is set, take a serrated knife like this and just cut straight down. If you use a big one, it's great because then it gets the whole slice at a time and you just, you just lift this up out of the container and you put it down and then you take your knife and you just cut right through it and you cut down this way, and then you cut across this way, and then you've got little, I would say one inch pieces of fudge. That's how we would do it. Anybody notice the difference in the lighting? We finally got it fixed. Yay! Okay, so let's taste it. You wanna taste your right taste? Okay, I know you are. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna give her a little taste of the fudge. All right, here you go. Try it out. How's that? Is there anything better than the combination of chocolate and peanut butter? I mean, really? No. Maybe peanut butter and jelly. No, no this is better. This is better? Okay. You heard what? it. You heard it, guys. You heard it from my yeah. daughter. This is the combination. So, like I said, it's very economical to make, very easy to make. Um, the hardest part is just waiting for it to set, right? <laughs> so, when that happens, you just get a spoon. <laughs> Happy baking, everyone.